Now, see, in, in earlier in the show, I called you brain. And mm -hmm. Now, you're live all the time. Do you mix up words? Do you all of a sudden, does your brain just stop working and, and call other things other things? Absolutely, Ellen. Or should I say, Ellen, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it, 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 we're live every night at 6.30 Eastern Time, and if we screw that up, um, uh, television has a nice way of giving us four time zones across the country uh -huh. so we can keep going. Uh -huh. There's a Samoa feed eventually, and uh -huh. I, you just you don't want to go home until you've nailed it. Right. So, um, <laughs> like a domino effect. It just keeps screwing up all across. I'm feeling pressure because I come out here after Mr. Johnson, the, uh, the walking uh, gun show, uh -huh. and the... Um, <laughs> The very talented uh, young Filipino singer, and uh, so I'm feeling much pressure to be, um, uh, how do you say, either stacked or entertaining. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, in my eyes, you're both. Oh, uh, well, thank yeah, you. Just, just know that. Thank you very much. And uh, what an impressive life you live. You, you have so many different uh, experiences that, that most of us would not get to have. You just came back from Afghanistan, which I, I can only imagine... What was that like? Well, it's very strange, and I, I, a lot of people say this, but I, I, I mean it. I am blessed to be able to, on a Friday, leave New York, and on Sunday, I am in a forward operating base, a fire base, in the mountains near the Pakistan border with members of the U.S. Army Special Forces. And I'm living like them and eating like them, and, and I, just, I just immerse myself in their life, and then a week later, I'm back in my house, two-car garage, doggy, my wife and I, you know, and, and life goes on. Wow. And they've protected me. This is now six trips to either Iraq or Afghanistan. They've, they've protected my life. I'm alive today because of these guys. Yeah. You don't have to go there. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty amazing that you choose to go and cover this, because there are a lot of people who do that and a lot of people who are, like you say, fighting for our country. But you go there, and, and, and then you live... How do you live when you... Where do you... You don't... There's no hotel. There's no Hyatt or anything there. Is, right. I mean, what do, you, what do you do? You live, in most cases, as they do, usually, to be honest about it, much better than they do. There are usually guest quarters on these bases for either visiting generals or journalists. And uh, to be fair... A lot of journalists are there now. That's their life. It's what they cover. I go over as a, as a glorified tourist, and I visit it for a week at a time, knowing that my comfortable bed in New York awaits. So uh, I'm the least of the journalists covering this. I just feel that to be alive during two wars and not go try to sense it and describe it to the folks back home uh, would be irresponsible. Um, I, I brought you something. I, I brought you something to show you how they eat. Today, we're going to learn how the infantry eats. Okay. Yeah, because um, I'd imagine that would be a very difficult thing to... And uh... I schlepped this, which is a, an Afghan word. I schlepped this <laughs> all the way from Kabul. This is an MRE, Meals Ready to Eat. How many families do we have here with a family member in the, uh, in the military? All right, God bless you. You know that um, <laughs> this... Um, this is what there is to eat. If you're not on a base with hot meals, note the plastic has the consistency of shoe leather. This plastic, sadly, is all over the desert. Uh, we've now... These go back to Gulf War I, and this, this has an expiration date of you should live so long. So um, these will always be with us. Uh, you have a meal here in the bag. Okay. This is... Now, three, days, three times a day, you get one of these. We have... Um, uh, wow, vegetarian uh, con carne, pasta with marinara sauce, and veggie crumbles. We have... I have veg vegetarian chili with beans here. Carbohydrate electrolyte beverage powder, grape flavored, bet you don't have that. This I... is like Christmas morning. And uh, I kid, but... And it's fun as civilians to open these wheat snack bread. There's a reason these are also called meals that refuse to exit. Um... <laughs> Potato sticks right. uh, are normally uh, right. quite good. All uh, right, so we, we have to take a break, and then we... We'll, how do we cook it? Can We're we going to cook a meal. Watch. Cook it, but then we have okay. to take a break, and we'll come back. How okay. long does it take to cook? Uh, it was just a few minutes. Here we go. Uh, this is the heater. I'm going to rip off the top uh -huh. using my military tool, um, and I'm going to put pasta, marinara sauce, and crumbles. You save the box. You take your main course. You put enough water in it to go over 
that line. That's it. Water's in the heater. Fold over the top. Put that next to your main course. It's already getting hot. It's a chemical reaction. You put that it cooks in there. back in the box, lean it against a flower arrangement, <laughs> and that will cook while we, you while know, we do that Hollywood chit chat. All right, we'll be back and our meal will be cooked. So those are the condiments. How cute. Adorable I mean, for little. The, these big Special Forces members, look at that cute little bottle of Tabasco. I like the green Tabasco. Now I'm having the vegetarian chili. I'm actually going to try this. This is really cooked and uh, it, it cooks in a few minutes. I'm having pasta. Okay. Yep. Wow, that is not good. <laughs> you will, um, you'll next, uh, I don't mean to get too personal, you will next use the bathroom a week from Monday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just saying. But, you know what? We've been having fun, and it, it's kind of like camping, right up until you have to eat this three times yeah. a day, and it's all wow. you've got. And this is what they have for as long as they're out there. This is, uh, I mean, and listen. And you're getting shot it, at it, all day for a living, Yeah, so. this is, uh, they, they deserve something. This is cooking. This is smoking I know, almost. That, it's that catching fire. leftover heater, this is Actually, the real deal. This is do you a, see the smoke coming out of that? Chemical reaction, and the veterans, when you know what you're doing, you put your cobbler in there, too. Hello. Uh, yeah. Really? Oh, so that'll get you You've the learned all that. Oh, yeah. Well, listen. Um... <laughs> um you're, you're continuing to eat. Are you hungry? Can I get you something? I actually you am. I, don't, you don't need to finish that. It's, it's yummy. We it's good. Don't no, we I'm, have stuff in the green room I, for you? I'm good. Are no, you sure? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Because I feel like I should have gotten you something. It, you just... Oh, well, it's good stuff. <laughs> but you just said that it doesn't really leave you soon. So, I, are you sure you want that? I got no plans for the next couple right. of days. Well... <laughs>